So I want to show you guys common problems on tile roofs. Now, a common problem with tiles is uh, the underlayment. Underlayment only lasts 30 years before the oil start to expire, and then it'll start to wear like this because it just becomes like regular paper. And you can see that this is just bare wood. Reason being is sometimes, well, how these tiles are laid out, you see how it overlaps right here. So this course would be right there. This next course would be right here. And there's no place for water to travel. So throughout the years, in the span of 30 years, it's going sideways and it eventually goes through the paper. So this is what a 30 year old underlayment looks like. Um, you can't see this underneath the tiles, but this is the, this is what happens to your underlayment. Another common problem in tile roofs is that when they build these, um, they put the tile, they smash this lip, which was a tile pan, down. So you can see, almost make it flat. The reason why they do that is because when you grab a tile and you try to you know, like put it right here, if that lip was there, it'll lift up this part up and then it'll be unsteady. So they just hammer this down. Some people notch this so they don't have to do that, but in this case, they smash this lip down and then so for this could sit good onto the deck like this. And then water travels this way and then you get a really big leak in the chimney. And then you get a big leak in your chimney like that. So the chimney is another problem on top of roofs. Another common problem is if you don't have any weather blocking underneath this roof to wall. Weather blocking could be either sole light, plastic weather blocking, or mortar. And I'll show you where it is on the ridge. But right here, it seems like there's no weather blocking. So any wind driven rain gets behind your tiles and prematurely wears on your paper. So I'm gonna give you an example of weather blocking. They did install it on the ridge board, which is something like this. It could be a mortar applied weather blocking like this one right here. You see how there's mortar there. So any wind driven rain will get on that mortar and get back onto tile. As opposed to over there, there's no mortar. And you could either use mortar or plastic weather blocking. I have one manufacturer we use is Solite and you could install this on the ridge board. Another common problem would be this shadow board right here, which is nailed onto the fascia board. And as you can see, the reason why it starts, it's a problem is because water will sit right here as you can see right here see the paper is already wearing down because there's bare wood right there because there's a gap so this is like a an inch a half inch rise to this so it's basically water going into a wall right here and then it wears on your paper you can see right there this shadow board is nailed onto this and it kind of lifts up the tile the purpose is to lift up this area right here so the second course doesn't droop down because if you don't have a riser uh, this is also called a riser board and if you don't have a riser board then this first course will droop down and you'll have a gap right here so best thing is to either cut this and drop it down because as you can see right here it's kind of like a little ramp and it causes wear on this paper right here so the best thing to do would be to remove this riser board bring it down and put a drip edge here or remove it completely and put a drip edge another common problem would be broken tiles right here they glued these but they don't take care of your broken tiles it won't allow water to get inside or behind your tiles and then wear on your paper and prematurely cause a leak so you always want to make sure you don't have any broken tile on your roof another problem would be closed valley see this valley metal right here 
you want this see that's the top of the, the roof and then water goes down onto this valley metal back onto tile what you want to do is at least give like a two inch gap on each side so water doesn't get trapped because what happens is water will pop this valley metal and then it'll get on your underlayment and then it'll get inside your home after the underlayment fills so you want to trim these and common leaks are because it's too tight to this valley metal you want space for water to travel in case it gets into this channel right here so it could flush out and that's what happens when your valleys are too close and they're not cut so your valleys start to fail like over there one of the problems is uh having mortar on the pipes just because this isn't really like a um a secondary flashing secondary flashing would be of that you see the aluminum right here the aluminum right there it molds to the tile so when water comes down there it goes back onto tile as opposed to mortar if it's on a pan which is on a low area right here water will pool when a heavy rain and then it'll get behind your tiles which will call, cause leaks on the lower part leaks won't be here it'll be more down there and you can see there's several of these there's no way that's preventing water from getting behind your tiles you need a flashing like over there but you'll notice that around these pipes you'll see the underlayment failing the most like right here it's underneath this pipe see that so right here, this was completely gone, this area, because it was underneath that pipe. Same with right over here, underneath this pipe, because that had mortar, but we broke it off. And same with right here, underneath this pipe.